Henry Yakarundi, the innovative, an behind innovative the entrepreneur from Rwanda. Le plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henry Nyakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henry Nyakarundi. Welcome everybody to the HN Vlog. Uh, today I want to talk about a very interesting topic, right? You know, we, we, we always taught hard work, hard work, dedication, focus. That's the key. That's the key of success, right? And it's part of the key. I'm not going to doubt, you know, being lazy is not going to pay no bills. But the reality is as you get older, well, at least for me, as I got older, I realized how unfair the world is. And business is no different. It's no different in business than in, in anything else. You know, the world is about access access to the people there's there's what we call gatekeeper I, I remember in french they call it pie or, or godfather in english you know when, when i came to rwanda they were telling me well you know you're going to need a godfather and i thought it was a joke but but that's not just you know in rwanda or any it's everywhere you, there is gatekeepers in uh in, around the world that open certain doors for you to have access to certain things you know, to facilitate uh, a lot of things, partnership, funding, whatever you want, whatever you can imagine, those gatekeepers, those, those, those uh, godfather do exist. But that line, you know, uh, uh, can call them brokers also, you know, that line is, is, is getting thinner and thinner and thinner because of technology, right? But before I get started on that, because um, just want you to, look at something if, if you know if you're an entrepreneur young entrepreneur about to get started just think about it where are the richest people in the world look at where they went to school most of them went to ivy league school most of them are white you know uh even though you have chinese now creating more billionaires than anybody else but you know still wealth is dominated by a group of people and that group of people control you know, 85% of the wealth around the world. I mean, just imagine that number. It's just crazy. And they're getting richer and richer. It's not an accident. It's not an accident, right? You know, look in Africa. The companies that raise most of the money in different sectors, they're usually all the same. If you look at the owners, you kind of find out, that, you know, they either went to Ivy League school also, or in their team, they have very strong people in their team that are well connected in a certain network. So all this is by design. It's not by accident and nothing taken away from them. I mean, do you believe that some of those CEO, let's take Mark Zuckerberg, uh, is, is smarter than anybody, everybody else? No, I'm sure there's some young men out there in Africa or around the world smarter than him. You know, smarter than me, smarter than a lot of people with great ideas. But what do they lack? You know, access. <laughs> I've met a lot of entrepreneurs with great ideas, passionate, talented, knowledgeable. But because they don't have access, they just die. You know, and we don't spend time building that access. Now, is it possible for you as a startup? nobody knows you to to bridge that access gap and that's really what i want to talk about right let's not focus on those who already have achieved and have the access yeah but the the the, the important point of this vlog is to understand explain to you that if you're a young entrepreneur you have a great idea in tech in agribusiness and all those things and you want to build something big you need to spend as much time, one third of your time, building access, building a strong network of connected people that you can plug in into your company, into your, 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 your ecosystem that can take you to the next level. Some people call it mentorship. Some people call it advisory board or whatever you want to call it, but you need to build that access, right? It's not by accident all these people can build partnership with 
you know, uh, um, the World Bank or the UN or all those things. We look at those things like it's, oh, it's amazing. No, it's just access. If you access the decision maker in a certain organization, things flow much, much easier. It's common sense. It's not complicated. It's common sense, guys. Right? So you need to build that access. How do you build that access? I've done a lot of vlogs about networking. But now I want to go a step further. You need to build access. You need to check their resume. Are they a decision maker? Are they the leader in the field you recruiting on or you looking for? i give you a perfect example. If you're raising capital, right, well, at least above half a million to a million dollars and plus, you may want to look at investor relation guy to come in. Well, if you're recruiting that investor relation, you have to make sure that person has a strong network into the investment world. You know, they've, they've worked at uh, e, uh, e, EY uh, uh, or, or some funding, raised capital before, so on and so forth. You know, you're not going to get a, a, a guy fresh out of school, did finance, and is going to grind trying to get the money. Most likely, it's going to fail. You know, people don't invest in ideas or companies. People invest in people. When you understand that, then you understand that when they know that person, it's much easier for them to give you that money than if they don't know you. You know, because when they know you, they trust you. And if they trust you, it's easier for them to release that money. Uh, in Silicon Valley, you hear stories of guys that raise money on a piece of paper. They share the idea on a piece of paper. They get half a million dollars the next day. It happens all the time. But guess what? They're part of a network of people already with money. Right? So it's easier for them to test and try new things and all, you know, and looking at, at, at things more long term. So, yes, the world is unfair, but you need to move on from that aspect, right? Don't get stuck. At, it's unfair. I'm not going to reach out my dream. That's not the point of this vlog. The point of this vlog is spend more time building access. Participate in events. Now with COVID, there's so many online events for free. You can just sign up and be part of, right? It's not going to cost you any money. Network from there. You know, if you if 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 you shy, you need to get off that shyness. You know, uh, that shy uh, way. You know, if you, if you introvert, that's not gonna work. You need to force yourself out of your shelf and 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 really reach out to certain people. And it's like dating. Don't just reach out to anybody and everybody. Pick, select, be picky. It's okay. Go on LinkedIn. When you meet somebody, add them automatically on LinkedIn. Introduce yourself. You don't need to sell them on what you're doing. Just bring them on your network. Build that relationship. It's a relationship. You know, if you meet somebody, you ask them for money and they don't know you, 99% of the time, they're not going to give you anything. Right? So when, you, when you're building your access, bring them in your network. Document what you're doing. Show them that you're actually achieving certain KPIs and step in your business right you have to build that trust it's a process that can take years years man been building my access for the last three years i'm not even halfway done right i still don't believe that i got the top top access and it will come i just gotta keep doing what i'm doing and most people are not willing to put that time most people want quick things that's the problem but for those who will put the time they'll achieve their dreams for sure